Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to do a Talia mid guide and we're going to be doing the dreaded matchup, the Fizz matchup, possibly one of the hardest matchups for Talia. Now, I'm playing with Electrocute, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Biscuit, Time Warp Tonic and these rune stats. I'm playing with Ignite and also having a Doran's Ring and two health potions. Now, these runes are to ensure that I'm not going to instantly die towards the Fizz. Because if the Fizz misplays, if, and even if he plays really bad, he can still get the kill on most mages that do not have an easy to hit repel spell, that's going to be my W. And so you gotta be careful in this matchup regardless. You could also play with Exhaust or Barrier if you feel like it, but I like to have the kill pressure on him, because I might die against him, but I'm betting on the fact that I'm also going to kill him. So And if I get ahead, I can put the EQ Ignite down and he dies from a Q. I'm trying to I'm aim for that. I'm going for Doran's Ring, I'm going for, uh, not Ludens, I'm going for GLP, I'm probably gonna get some magic resist along the way and stuff like that. I'm trying, I'm gonna try to poke him, to, to keep him away from the minions, because I really want just, just to not let him kill me, and yeah, that's what you should do, that was a stupid proposition, uh, maybe sentence, right, so I got poked here a bit, I want to do a full Q, I don't want to rush in, I don't have any reason to rush in, and I just want to make him lose CS as he just lost, lost that, because if he comes close I can just I can just do my thing, and he he actually is set behind, okay, I can just do a full Q right now, okay, I'm gonna do another auto attack, trade goes fine even though I'm half HP, I am, I kind of want him to be low HP, half HP, sort of there because then I have kill potential kill potential comes from that poking getting his corrupting potion stacks down and also in this matchup you probably want to do an E that counters his Q that's what you want to do generally you're going to have a hard time hitting W into him obviously and you can just proc electrocute uh sorry like this I didn't proc it should have proc it Jesus also lost that CS okay now he dragged this towards the tower and he's probably having a hard time actually getting them and so I can just do this we're gonna be careful to do that and I think that it's worth it now I could simply proc my combo right here but I rather to just do a quick push because Wari goes towards the bot side and so yeah he actually this position Warwick, goes, Warwick should actually go for the scuttle here, and I shouldn't be playing this aggressively, I'm just gonna ward the scuttle on the bot side. If I'm finding any Vi around here, any Vi player, no? Okay, so she's top side probably, and that means there may be a gang coming there or from this side. Also I need to expect, I need to expect Vi flashing on me, so that's another part of my job. And so as I said, for the build, I'm interested in GLP, some magic resist, maybe a Zonia, because Fizz is annoying, maybe stuff like that. Okay, I'll take the trade. And you should use E. Now he's gonna use the last of the corrupting potion stacks, which means I have some window to actually do fine against him now. I actually can just E auto attack E, auto attack and stuff like that to proc electrocute. I can do that. I'm keeping Q by the way. I'm not I'm not having any reason. I'm seeing Vi, which means I can just I can just let it push in. I don't have any reason for him to I could just stop the recall here though. And I did not notice anything by doing that. I missed the cannon. That was bad. I'm not I'm not someone can make a montage of me saying I missed the cannon because I'm generally missing them if I'm not focusing completely and when I talk I have uh, this thing that I uh, I cannot focus perfectly whenever I'm trying to make an educational content I should talk over replay that would be simple but as you can see now because of the wave positioning because I didn't let him recall he's actually losing a lot of CS and we want to create this discrepancy we want to create this slight slight advantage but here if I don't proc the biscuit he can actually go for the kill so I don't want that either just another CS there, just an auto attack, simply there, I'm gonna have to Q here, else I'm gonna lose this too, okay, okay here he actually misplayed, I'm gonna just auto attack him to death, and we got the first blood, 
So you gotta seek opportunities like that, because if he does something like that, uh, he's going to lose immediately his everything, as you can see. And he also used flash. I use flash as well. And he will be level six soon, so I'll be I'll gotta be careful against against that. Also, he is having a Vi. I expect Vi coming towards my lane, so I'll have to play differently. I have to play more defensively, more smart. I have to get the vision while I have to get boots, some o some other potions. And I haven't got magic resist. Maybe I'm gonna get magic resist here, because it's more safe. I don't have enough gold for the vision ward. Generally, you should try to get the vision ward, but now that I don't have the extra vision, I'm gonna be forced to fight him whenever I have Warwick around or whenever I see their Vi somewhere else. I'm having CS advantage, I'm having magic resist, so I'm doing fine for a standalone lane, for the state of my lane right now. Not gonna hit that, gonna think that he's missing. We're not, everyone recalled on the map, right? We're not forced to push it. I'm seeing Warwick on that side. They aren't doing Drake, most likely, because Warwick can just come in and try to steal it. I'll be forced to hit Q there, because this one, yeah, it's gonna get attacked by the tower, but I can keep the wave around here. I don't need to force anything into that, because he'll probably be able to kill me since he has an ultimate that actually deals damage, and mine does not. My ultimate is just for roaming, and I can just stack up the wave here, and I can clear it whenever I want by doing a full combo. So I'm not pressured by this. I'm not. I'm really having the advantage right now in every way. So I got the stick here. And right now we can consider actually using Q here to fast push. Because we have way faster push potential than him. But as you can see, as you can see, this, this the triple gang comes. <laughs> there is nothing I can do. This was just a slight, a slight misposition. There is absolutely nothing you can do if you misposition like I just did. A vision word here might have saved me. So that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell the biscuit. I'm gonna get the vision ward. And even though this guy wins, Fizz will back him up. So he has to back off. And Pike also came. So Vi could have just ulted me. And they could have just dived me without any hesitation. Without any problem. And that's fine. Because it's really, really hard to have counterplay for that. If you don't play perfectly on vision. And now I know Fizz don't have, doesn't have ult. I also have ignite. So I can just play more stupidly aggressive, right? I can just do this, I can just push him back, I can just do this a lot. And now I'm seeing Dwarwick getting caught there for some reason. thought he is more smart there. So it's it's not a problem, the fact that I died, okay, it's, it could have been expected. And. Ezreal used E. Ezreal used E. I've seen the E. Right? Can I tax this? I didn't tax it. So seeing that E means either that he's going to flash, which is good for us because we got the flash, or he's going to simply die. And that's, that's the simple gang that we just did. We got advantage there. I'm seeing Fizz. I don't care about Fizz. They can, they can actually come. Look how simple we're winning this. Okay, I got destroyed. I didn't even notice the fizzle, but we're still winning this. It doesn't matter. We also got Drake. We're winning this Torovli. And I can just go for Merc Treads because Fizz is just eating me up every time now. And you need to stop watching this context. Because even though I can play pretty much perfectly, uh, I think Orgot will win this. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now, the wave was here pushed towards me, so that's the only thing I'm losing. And I am having a Kaiser that's 4 0 now. All I gotta do now is to stick back, flash whenever Vi is coming. And if she comes multiple times, that's gonna be going to be hard. But I'm on the same level and I'm having advantage on CS compared to that Fizz. I also know he has no ult, which means I am quite okay for a while. I'm quite okay for a while, so remember that. I'm gonna do a Q here. And that's the beauty and quite the annoying thing about Fizz. Uh, I missed. I'm seeing on top Vi, I'm seeing everyone else. I'm not sure the cooldown 
But I can roam again just. I push them there. I could just go bot right now again. I don't have all, but I can try to stick myself around here because Pike might want to come. Pike might want to come around here, right? Put a vision over there. We got that going. And. Man, not you. You. Kaisa went aggressive there. And now I expect the fizz. Okay, shit, he's not even trying to. Kaisa went aggressive there for absolutely no reason. Now, if I stood there and tried to ult me, that would have been a free kill. But also, I kind of passed the free plate. That's fine. Ah, they still, they still got the kill. If Warwick tanks it, we're winning this. Because he can just E, get damage reduction. I have no problems with it. The only issue here is that Orgot didn't bother to come fast enough and Irela came faster. Irela came from here, by the way. Irela came from there. Vi was already in the pit. Orgot should have been faster than Irela in that complex. I'm seeing Vi. I'm not having an issue with that. Fizz is fed now. They might dive me. I need to f to. I mean, I've escaped that. Okay. Okay, this is a bad dive for them. I can just. Yeah, it's fine. I don't wanna overcommit it. I'm safe already. But I did not like. I could have, could have get the kill there. Should have, actually. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'm so bad. Yeah, I'm getting tilted by this, but we're fine. I just need to get to GLP, and then, yeah, we're going to do fine. And this is a game, by the way, where my jungler is not doing pretty much anything to help me, or my top laner doesn't react accordingly. And as you can see, look, look. Why? Why did he just do that? That was pointless. So, it's pretty clear that there is a difference in, in between the junglers and in between the bot laners. So, also, we can say that there is a difference on mid, but I'm quite affected by the external factors. So... In order to do this well, in order to do this fine, there might be a fizz. We gotta play around the Kaiser, because there is no other option, right? And I want to push right now. I want to push this fast and to go help them. Because if they don't recall, we're just gonna lose another fight here. And I might lose. I was so sure I'm gonna lose this. Jesus. Also, we can also think in cases like this when we have no nothing to do on the map because my bot lane just recalled we can think of going here but we can't go there if they just recalled so we have to fake roam and she went back and now i'm gonna die every single time he decides to ult me and not not quite right now because he just used his combo so i gotta play in and out of his combo and i gotta push a lot if i want to actually survive now he's missing i'm gonna ping Warwick is tragically behind. I'm gonna guess that he's not here, right? And that's he's behind most because mostly because uh, Vi actually did ganks and my guy didn't bother much to do so. And we're not going to win if Leona doesn't come and tank. We're not going to win if Leona doesn't frontline. And she does not frontline, so that means they have a free hand at whatever they want here. Also, this might be a bad way to go. If she was there, I, you can't you can't do anything about that because you don't have a jungler. And this is how you play. This is how you try to win this game in spite of your jungler, in spite of that. Right, I'm not gonna miss that. Okay, you got the back off. Don't don't. What? What? Flash out. What? Why? What was the point of that? Yeah, we can die for. That look how simple it is to go somewhere else whenever this fails. And I'm not going to be able to defend this, Warwick should have, but he's way too behind in this to actually do anything, so he's just gonna let the tower pass. 
Okay, and now they are probably going through this spot. So I'm just gonna go here. And can you not push my lane now? Jesus. Gotta play for this guy too. And if they want now, they have so much dive potential. I just gotta keep a distance from him, even though. Yeah, no, we're not. Okay, maybe. I'm not doing anything here. I'm dead. But if you get him, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, worth. It's very worth because it's a shutdown, a big shutdown on him, and a required one. But you inted here again. You should have run. The only way we win this is if you play against the ADC. I'm behind in this. I'm not going to be able to be better 2 versus 1, because most likely, well, 3 versus 1, I've dived to 3 man gang there. So I have to be resourceful. I have to be doing a full combo. I'm, I'm kind of like Ezreal, but not quite, because also I participate in lots of kills. But still, we have advantage this game if we manage to shut down the actual. What are you doing? That was int from Pike. Why didn't have ult there? Alright, we're back in there. Ulted there just in case. But if she gets ulted. See, we don't we don't really can do anything here. I'm not even understanding what Warwick remotely does. I mean, you are seeing what he does. I don't know. We got the, we got the Irelia. It's fine. We have Orgot, which is a strong power base here. So you can't really do much. Orgot should actually tank most of the fizzled fizz stuff. We can just nail this tower down. You shouldn't dive. I'm not sure why they are diving or playing like this, but we still got one for one. Gotta back off now though. We got to attack that. Okay, we got that. And we are doing very fine here. Because we want the trade, we turn it around. Right. Okay, we're not winning against that. Not now. Because I don't have any mana. And this is a tree, but he will have to actually go through Urgot every time or Leona or Warwick. He wants to reach to us. So, theoretically, we should be fine most of the time. And I got, I get this orb, and then I go straight for Zonias for stopwatch. That's the next thing. I'm also going to get a vision ward here. And now if I want to get farm, I have to stick myself to either mid lane or sideways. But on mid lane, you won't really get much farm at this point. As you can see, the farm is quite even on mid, but he has much more kills. And which is quite fair since of the Vi help. And I don't think I even died solo to, to the Fizz. No. No. Shouldn't front line like that, but I assume they can't really instantly murder me. Thinking of staying actually here. Yeah, just wait here and it's fine. Okay, and now we just win. Because that was the main problem. Guys, I should go Zonia, and at that point, it's over for them. And let's just take this Drake. Alright. A bit of lag because the map changes. They aren't going Baron, they aren't insane. We aren't going Baron either. Don't. Why can't you steal it? Don't even think you 
have to clear first you have to see that you're not getting instantly melted by the fizz there are lots of steps that are required here to actually pass okay let's get that let's do seals there it's cool so now what fizz should do is to stick to the side lane and split as much as he can and that's i kind of have to do that too but i can't really beat fizz so i will not be able to match him because he got fed which means I'll have to try to go here where we raise and take my chances with it. And if he gets caught there, if he gets caught there, it's actually quite okay. Because we might have a chance. We might have a chance if we kill someone. But Warwick is far away from everything and he's not really understanding what's happening on the map. I think I caught. Yeah, we can we can just go for this. At this point, it's okay. But it really has teleport, so it might not necessarily be okay. And we don't. Okay, okay, it's fine. Having a bit of lag here, I'll be honest. I'm not even gonna bother with the fizz. I mean, can you hit something, please? All right. I could just jump there, but I don't want to. You should defend. Okay, that's what it's like. Warwick should. He's too busy going around other stuff. Okay, I'm having very low... Let me just adjust your stuff. Like this. Oops, that was only good. Alright. I don't like this as well. Text looks awful. All right, all right, all right. Let me see how OBS looks. Alrighty. And the map is so small. Okay. We can actually get Baron now, because they did that engage. If if we get, guys, guys, guys. Well, you can just take base now. There's no longer an option. Ah, I don't get them. We got the kill there, but uh, all right. And don't ask what's with the resolution. This is all I can play with actually to have a decent game. I don't like it. I'm not sure how I fix it. Right. Oops. Alright, how much for this one? Yeah. This wave. No, I don't like it. this one better yeah let's just go for Zonia here okay how much 100 they can't really fight us now because we can actually fully defend our ADC we should fully defend our ADC I should at least die for it because look how ahead she is Oops. And 
and somehow he's got Kaiser again. Alright, why there are Eternals enabled on this? I think it's slightly triggered. There we go. Very nice kiting there, by the way. Whew, so this is a stressful game probably for Kaiser, but you can see it actually doesn't matter because most of the time Fizz cannot, even if he can kill her when she finishes Zonias it's over, but she should have probably went for Zonias faster. Also they are fine there, we got the tower, gonna get these real quick. Alright, let, let Fizz come on to me if he wants to. He doesn't even come here. I'm just gonna auto attack. Gorgoth is having the time of his life there, by the way. No one can probably even tackle him at this point. So I just went there to be sure he's actually having a good time. I'm gonna be taking this, he's <laughs> having 5000 gold. But you can see why not going bot actually mattered a lot at the scaling of the game because if he went bot and tried to shut down Kaiser at some point he might have not be able to kill me that much and in turn I would have been the Kaiser of this game not maybe not that useful in terms in terms of let's back off man I can't really help you they can't really fight us they don't even want to so I don't even have that many items compared to my teammates and that's fine really as long as you do your job as long as you're there for them and there Orgot is gonna die at some point and always the int is coming so you gotta expect it so I'm moving towards here that was on Israel old I can just I can just farm a bit Warwick did not so good early game and after that he's just rolling with the game, he's just getting carried by the fights. But in cases like that you gotta be the player, the jungler on your team, as the mid laner you gotta be that player, right? So even in this context we are eventually doing fine. I can just counter jungle a bit here. I'm the same level as Fizz after these fights, by the way. Yeah, probably I could even assassinate that Irelia. Let's see, itemization. Yeah, she has no magic resist. I'm not dealing that much damage. I'm gonna try it. I wanna test proof a bit. Limit testing a lot. Limit testing, but flashing here that, because if I don't flash that, I'm still... Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, finish it. <laughs> I missed that, <laughs> I would have probably lost. <laughs> but getting the kill like this, as you can see, getting a kill like this can actually turn the tide around. Can you? Jesus, man. Can you kill him before he actually reaches me? <laughs> I'm gonna grid out. I'm gonna grid out. <laughs> she flashed. <laughs> Why, man? Even that. They just lost the game because their 15 kills Fizz tried to go for possibly the weakest link in the team at this point of the game. And that's very stupid, isn't it? And Kaisa, if Kaisa didn't... Okay, never mind, she doesn't die. I thought she hinted there. But, well, we still have our god. And so, you can see how this game went. You can understand the logic. Even if I kinda lost most of the game in terms of lane phase, in terms of getting camped by the Vi, by the Pike. Then doing that actually enabled my top laner and my ADC to scale a bit. And Kaiser in late game can be deadly if they can't focus up and hit their ults. We also have a huge frontline with these three tanks. So you gotta understand these points and you gotta understand how sometimes you can lose the lane and win the game because of that kind of like. If you're not horribly inting. I had four deaths five with the irrelevant death at the end. So you can, you can play around that a bit, you can find new ways to actually win games if you are struggling and if you are having these rough matchups and if you are camped. 
you gotta see what you gotta do and you gotta find those options and you gotta find these trades and stuff like that and you're gonna climb and you're gonna fight this is the game for today and i really hope you enjoyed see you next time guys goodbye